Hello and welcome. This is Bob Lessick at Johns Hopkins and I'm here to create a short video on how to use the R Markdown in our studio. So in Blackboard there's a file called biomart.rmd. RMD is an R Markdown file. I'm going to right click that and save it. I'm on a Windows machine so right click is the equivalent of a two finger click on a Macintosh. So I'm going to save that. And I'll put it in my desktop. Okay. Now I'm going to switch to RStudio, and I sort of opened a clean version of RStudio. This is version 3.2.2, but version shouldn't matter too much here. And at the very top left, there's a file open icon. You can always go to file and open file. I'll click the icon and open. I have the file saved as biomart.rmd. Now when I open that you'll see that it opens a, a fourth window uh, at the top above the console. And this is an R Markdown document which will allow you to very quickly go through some of the commands that are listed in the uh, PDF called the Biomart User's Guide. So note that anything that's in the shaded area is a potential set of commands. In this case, there's library, biomart, and list marts. So if I, if I were anywhere on this line and I click the run button, the run button is at the upper right of the window, you see it enters that command and it goes down to the next line where it says list mart. Well, okay, it's loading the library biomart, so I'm gonna wait for that to happen. Okay, good, I got the prompt again. So I hit run, the list marts, and there are the marts that are present in Biomart. Um, we're going to be using Ensemble primarily, so I could go down to the next chunk and load the mart. Okay, now if there is a, uh, okay, I'm going to go to list data sets, run. Okay, here are the data sets within the Ensemble mart. And again, you can see that I can pretty simply walk through and click. I can also highlight a multiple set of lines if I want to run a series of commands. I can highlight lines 44 and 45 and hit run. And it will run those commands one after the other. You see I get the, in this case, the first five filters from the Ensemble Human Genes uh, data set. And if I want the attributes, I could also highlight that and hit run. And there is some in green. You notice those are not commands. Those are comments. So what the R markdown file is able to do is, and here I'll run the first get bm command. It's going to take a little while to get results. What I recommend doing is to maybe use these markdown files to run the commands, but also try to run similar commands. Maybe pick different genes or different identifiers, anything you might be interested in, just to get a feel for how some of the R commands work. Okay, and there we have results. We have a set of three results. We have the Affirmetrics identifier, and what we were given were the Entree Gene identifiers. We know that the Entree Gene database identifiers 837, 838, and 836 correspond to those three particular, in this case, probes from a, a microarray experiment. Okay, now if you want help for any command in R, go down to the console. And I now the confusing thing about R Markdown is that sometimes you forget which window you're in. So don't type in the top window, type down on the console. Help parentheses get bm, which is the get biomark command. That will pull up in the bottom right window uh, a manual that shows how to use the get bm command. You see the four arguments that we've mentioned are attributes, 
filters, values, and mark, you see a few others that are mostly uh, have default values if you don't use them. But you can see what attributes, filters, values, and mark stand for. Okay, so use the PDF. Uh, you can print out the HTML file too from the markdown or use the R markdown, whatever you feel comfortable going through some of the um, tasks in the vignette. And good luck working with R.